Hey guys, today we're going to talk about Emrakul in Innistrad. Recently, some news has come out. Wizard of the Coast has emailed organizers, mainly stores, distributors, people doing pre-release. So part of the pre-release kit is actually send the buy a box promo in the pre-release kit. It comes in the same little envelope. The buy a box promo, this time around, has Emrakul in its name. It looks good. I mean, it looks like Emiko is going to be the villain in Shadows over Innistrad and the moon set. Which makes sense, because Nahiri, he, first of all, he's missing. Magic has always been kind of run by people who have OCD for players who have OCD. So having Emiko missing from a set of a trio of Adrazi seems incomplete. The same with the Fetch lands. That's why... Not having a Zendikar Fest Lance is kind of annoying, not only price wise, but you, know, you want all 10. It was nice the Shock Lance were together, but you want to be complete. And the Adrazi cannot be complete without Emiko, because he's the biggest and baddest of them. The lore, everything that they've been talking about, indicates Emiko could be in this set, but now this is some more confirmation. So EN means English, 2, I don't know what, I guess that's the area. Pre buy B A B means buy box. Advanced could mean advanced store, or it could just mean advanced amicable is the name. And P W D, and then marketing campaign materials like posters. And uh, in the case of uh, Dragons of Tarkir, it was actually that dice rolling thing that I still play a lot of. So will Emiko be back? I don't know. It could be a troll. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if they were trolling us and this was part of Conspiracy 2. It just seems so unprofessional that after pretty much throwing their judges under the bus and running them over several times to the point that the judges are now suing Wizard of the Coast for releasing, you know, spoilers, information, and stuff that they weren't supposed to talk about on a private Facebook group. To have, like, the biggest storyline spoiled this way seems it seems impossible i would be i mean their marketing team has hyped up the the new set the moon set so much in shadows over industry even now to have emma cole spoiled in this way in an email to you know, in the email as a code I can't imagine it. So leave me a comment below. Do you think Emiko is the big, bad, fatty villain in the new set in Moon? Or maybe he's part of Conspiracy 2. He could be part of MTG lore, which would make sense. The one part that I will say, well, I'm skeptical of, if it's a bio box promo, you can't have Emiko as your bio box promo. Bio box promos suck. Uh, people will bring out, up Goblin Rabble Master, but when he came out, he was like $2.50. There has not been a bio box promo that, uh, first of all, has been mythic. We have not got a mythic bio box promo since I think Scars Mirrodin, when we had um, Hero Bladehold and Glissa. I think New Phyrexia. No, maybe from from that block. But it would seem surprising that they would give a promo, a bio box promo, away for the Chase mythic of the set. I'm skeptical. And mainly I'm skeptical because if this is spoiled in this way, it is embarrassing for the Wizard of Coast marketing team because you could have done so much else with it.